Back on fellow indie game enthusiasts, I hope you're ready for some awesome learning field adventure because today we are playing UK and the Book of Yokai, which means UK and the Book of Monsters. Have you ever thought about learning Japanese and playing an awesome deck building game at the same time? I have great news for you because the game is here and it looks extremely cool. If we got this game, when I started to learn Japanese at the university, it would have been much easier. And maybe, uh, you know, I would have finished my degree. But I haven't done it. But here, I can start again learning some awesome Japanese things to the game. So without further ado, let's jump right into the game. And let's see how it plays. I tried it before, and it is extremely cool. Welcome, fellow traveler. If you like indie games as much as I do, please don't forget clicking all the nice buttons on the screen because it helps out the channel a lot. And if you are an indie dev who needs their game tested or covered, please send me an email to the email address on the screen. And now back to the game. So you are here. Ah, where are my manners? Feel free to call me Mjolkun. I'm just a local protection yokai, a god if you will. But I am a Brit fail, so please help me ward off the evil ones. Choose your path freely and try to overcome all of them until you reach the end. I will support you from the sidelines, answer my quest uh, quiz questions correctly, learn Japanese and earn my bones. Speaking of which, listen up, I will give you some pointers. Ready to dive in, complete a tutorial and hit start when you are good to go. Quiz selection, we got Kana, which is the standard, you know, like alphabet, if we, uh, if, if you will. Vocabulary, of course, counters, kanji, these are the more hard to learn, harder to learn, more complex uh you know stuff in the language romaji is the europeanized version of how you have to pronounce it and grammar speaks for itself choose a path pick a route and navigate to the map's final destination refer to the map legend to understand each stage perform quizzes complete the quizzes to earn energy and turn modifiers tip a correct answer reveals the enemy's intent and battle, engage enemies by playing cards during your turn. There's four types, attack, defense, skill, and curses. Avoid curses to maximize your effectiveness. Battle two, increase your chances of winning by using items like, you know, classic spire-like gameplay. And we got the Omamoris, gather Omamoris to gain boost during your journey. You can find them inside your backpack. More learning, remember to learn new Japanese concepts whenever you are prepared. You can do this through the book icon located in the top bar. Okay, so ready to dive in. So we are going to start with some really easy stuff. We're gonna put the Kana in because many of you might don't even, you know, cannot even read those Kanas. And later on we will put in some really easy kanjis and some vocabulary and grammar so we just you know selected kana and here we go select an omamori we got the lucky the luck one add one more card as selectable when defeating a yokai we got sakura pedal gain one hp when an enemy dies and bonsai start each combat with an extra card i would say let's go with this sakura pedal because we'd like to you know reach uh the further the furthest we can you know classic one we are going to choose a path, for example, the middle one. Ugama is the, it, it basically means like frog, like respectful frog, but in this case, it is like a toad creature, a giant toad. Okay, so quiz. This is te, this is ri, and this is ki. So we got three correctly. First one is reveal the enemy intent. The second one is gaining the amount of yen, the classic one. And the buff is apply a buff to yourself. The buff you're having is rage. Deal 25% more damage during X turns. X means uh, this number here, so one turns. 
We got free energy we can use. Now we know the intent of the enemy. Uh, buff or debuff. This enemy intends to use buff or debuff. It's pretty cool. We got the discard pile. We got the burn pile. It's basically scrap or, you know, whenever destroy. Something like that. If you're not familiar with uh, deck building concepts, running it through really quickly, you've got a starting hand, you play cards, you got, you know, like a certain amount of energy per round, you play all the cards in your hand or the cards you can play for your hand, discard the hand that goes to the discard pile, you, you know, just draw more cards and when the deck is empty, we will reshuffle the discard pile. When we can get new cards by defeating enemies, going through different stages, more cards are getting added to the deck that we can play out cards off. So that's it. We got two stuff here, defend, and we are going to do some damage. So slash, they have damage to all enemies, costs two energy. Since this guy is going to buff or debuff, you know, we used the only damaging card that we have and we just got like four uh, you know, defense. We got poisoned, which is not a really good one. Take four damage at the end of each turn. And seemingly, uh, I'm not sure if uh, armor is going to defend against poison. Most of the time, poison hits through armor, but maybe in this game, because more like learning is the focus, maybe that's not the case. We get a haiku book. Use it to unlock three more quizzes during a fight, like a last resort type of stuff. Backpack, we got the Omoris here, uh, the money, of course the HP we have, Book of Learning, we can enable more stuff on the fly, extremely good, we can check out the word map, this is the deck that we are owning. Okay, so start with the quiz, this is Tsu, this is Sa, and this is Chi, okay, so, so now, turn is looking a little bit different, you know, quiz wise, we can see the enemy intent, 7 damage, the second one was nothing, unfortunately, in buff, we got this one, which means, da, 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 resilience, get 25% more armor, so in this case, 5, instead of 4, which is cool, so we will have like only 2 damage, if this one is not going to disable 4 shields, we will see, and we are dealing support for 4 damage, so like 4 damage, to the toes face and another one ending turn yes so poison is getting blocked by uh shield which is cool please okay this is uh, this is raw and we also have nah okay trying to do six damage with buff uh receive less damage in this case uh, not the best because this one is getting mitigated by this one. So, can we take this guy down? For example, if we got more queezes, no. So in this case, yes. So we're going to take five damage or no less. Okay, yeah, five. Okay, I was right. Another. This is ta. This is cat, and this is ta once again. I'm going to add more stuff uh, after every single enemy. Four damage. This guy's going to debuff or buff. So in this case, now I'm not going to use it because just a bunch of armor. So we have to pass the turn. Of course, we are. We can mitigate those nasty stuff. This is so. This is Ni. And this is Me. Okay. It's been a while. I practice Japanese. You know, I still remember the basics. Although, if I'm going to screw up, well, it can happen because, you know, it's been a while. Deviated from the path, unfortunately. Fu. This is No. And this is To. But. Thanks to this game, kinda, you know, got my hopes up a little bit, because if I play this game frequently, maybe I can just, you know, step up my game, you know, just memorize more kanjis, because the kanjis were one of the sad, you know, truth and uh, 
I mean reason. I uh, gave up the path, unfortunately. Poison Vial, and we can pick a card. So we got uh, Suzumi Draw. Choose a card to draw from the draw pile and burn it. I mean, this one is going to get burned. So we can like target farm for a card, target fish for a card. Rage deals a damage and rage for uh, three turns, but this is going to use all of our energies. And this one is Samurai Stance, which is gain Six armor, the upgrade version is nine. Get the rage one, it looks really cool. So, uh, I'm going to show you how you can add stuff. So, we get the Kana, and these are uh, the enabled ones. This is the this is a traditional like uh, toy called the Ruma, I guess, if I remember correctly. And this one is coming with one eye painted. And you wish for something. And if the wish comes true, you paint the the other the other eye. Or if you know what to wish for, you paint the other eye, if I remember correctly. So uh, the Daruma little ones are meaning that uh, you know they are in the selection. And for example, if you click on the A, which means A. Uh, and they are having some extra info for you. So because most of the time uh, learning like languages like, you know, with different alphabet from like the European or the Arabic or whatever you want to call it. Uh, how to call it? Um, what is in English? Maybe I'm mistaking it, but uh, Phoenician? We call it like Phoenician. Okay, never mind. So uh, I put it here in the screen. What is the name of the alphabet? Roman, not the Roman alphabet. It's a Roman numbers. Arabic, I guess. Never mind. So um, the main thing is that you have to pair an ideal or something, a picture in your head, so you can easily memorize those different uh, strokes and how these uh, you know symbols are looking so in this case for example if you look in the middle of the character character this is the word i was looking for damn it okay so middle of the character it looks like there is a titled a so here as you can see so most of the time you have to pair a picture corresponding to the character you'd like to learn and it makes much easier but of course you have to practice 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 because we got like a stroke order uh, from the upper left corner to the lower right corner this is how you write those strokes one by one uh, and basically that's it so this is the standard alphabet one of the standard alphabets because these characters are representing the standard japanese words that you can write down and these are going to be paired with some of the kanjis most of the time the first character is a kanji or a, or two but mainly one and then you will see a bunch of hiragana and uh differs in pronunciation based on where the kanji is placed on a word so it's like it's interesting there's a ch chinese reading and a japanese reading as well and there are some extra things that you can see like dakuten is the dialectical mark and we got the uh, han dakuten is also we got the small ya which is going to make to it a different sound so like for example we have the shi and uh, put a small ya next to it, it's going to get pronounced sha or like sho or shu. And the tsu is going to transcribe a double consonant. So, for example, like oh boy. So, when you put this there, you, you have to double it. Okay, I wanted to say a word really quickly but uh, I just can't, so I mean, I'm going to say it on the fly. And we're also having the Katakana, which is a same, basically the same alphabet, but these are getting used to write down foreign words. 
for example, names, for example, a bunch of English words, because Japanese language is using English words as well, but on their own way. So, for example, one of my favorite uh, example of this is credit card. So we say it like in English, credit card, but because the Japanese language is different and we are using uh, not syllables, but uh, okay, I don't know the word in English. I'm going to put it here. Uh, they're going to make words based on it. So instead of credit card, in Japanese, it's kredito kado, which is using all the present kanas to make up a word pretty similar to the original one. Basically, that's it. Like, you know, in really, really short version. So we can make these guys, you know, hibernate, so not getting asked, for example. So what I would say... There are a bunch of really cool helps here, so it's really easy to learn with this. What I would say is that go like one by one, because this is like a, a rule how the alphabet is getting like ordered. So A, I, U, E, O, Kakiku, Kako, and so on and so forth. So I would say that let's learn in sets. So like for the first one, when you're trying to learn uh, Japanese from the ground, by using this game, you just click A-I-U-E-O, take down an enemy. Let's see if you can memorize it. If not, another enemy. And then Kakikukeko, once again, you know, leave leave the first five there. Just practice, 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 and you will get it in no time. Okay, so this was the first one. Of course, we can add some kanji. We are going to add the first few really easy ones so like flat grounds we got one we got the reading which is of course for the reading first you have to know hiragana it says ichi there is one and only one flat surface here uh, there was that one time where i cheated ichi during a japanese exam and you probably will too with all these kanji oh boy I mean, where I cheated, I cheat. No, I, I think that that's that's not working really well. But you know, just memorize it. One flat line, ichi means one. As you can see, two is the same one. Three, three lines as well. Pretty easy to understand. Person, also just like two legs, big, large. A, like a person and crossed with another one. So we are just going to add these guys here. Big one, two, three. So why do we have like, oh sorry, we have the radical as well for the person. It is going to be another interesting thing when you're making up kanjis. There are some radicals that you have to learn. And these are going to, you know, give out most of the kanjis. I'm not going to talk about these because I think I cannot talk about it uh, normally. So I don't want to, you know, like misguide anyone. Let's go. Hmm. Who are you? What brings you here? Myokun sent you. I see. I am Momotaro. Momotaro is one of the most famous Japanese folklore person. If you're interested in the story of Motaro, you can read it in like, I guess, in every language. Uh, I've been searching for some Oni, which is a demon, to defeat around here, but they seem to be elusive. Actually, maybe you can help me. Count on me, I'm in a hurry. Of course, count on me. That's great. I wouldn't want you to get in trouble, so please accept this gift from me. Take item Dongo, which is a small, like, bun. This is a food. It's a really cool one. Choose a card to pick from the draw pile. Converts to Dango. Two or three on use. Upgrade the card. I am good, thanks. You know, take item. Let's see. You will see it will prove to be useful later on. Oh, no. Dango's are... Yeah, I mean, small... Not buns. Buns? Yeah, I think we can call them buns. Okay. Never mind. Let's go. Kasa Obake. 
Casa means umbrella or they had this like umbrella shaped hats in Japanese in Japan and uh, I think they, they still have it and you just put it on your head and they also like they work as a uh, you know, like umbrella and also as a hat it's a pretty cool one just like this one okay let's go with the quiz we got E we got U we got HA okay we got rage so we're going to blast the thing is that we cannot speed up the uh, the pace with the game the only thing I miss a little bit so deal more damage during each turn so now we can blast 10 damage which is going to be really brutal and we got rage for four turns Although we're going to take six damage, but no problem because next time we can just really quickly take out this guy. This is A. This is new. This is O. Okay. So he's not going to do anything. So we can do like a really nice blast, which is going to take this guy to the ground. And we are victorious. You won. Okay. 10 yen. Fire in a flask to deal 15 damage, and we got a card. We already know this. Uh, Kodama's Blessing, remove bleeding, or Gomi, Gomi Checker, which is get one card from the discard pile into your hand. I mean, sure, we can we can go with this, I guess. Okay, uh, let's go and add some vocabulary as well. So we got Konnichiwa, hello, greetings, or good afternoon. We got Ohio, which is good morning. We got Oyasumi, good night, and Arigato, the classic ones. They're also added here. Suimasen, excuse me, un, or un, or un, un sorry, is yes or no. So e eh is yes, and ie is no. And uh, hi, yes, or here. So these are, uh, you know, added also. So let's go and try to take down this guy. Because we got the Chochinobake. I guess it's a lantern, but I am not familiar with this word, so I'm not going to say anything. So we got Ha, Ka, and Ho. Cool. It's going to deal damage. Attack and defend. There's an enemy intends to inflict damage and armor up. So in this case, we got a nice defense. What about this one? Agile. Gives you 25% chance of dodging an attack. Cool, but I'm not going to you know, just risk it all. So I'm just going to wait for this. We're going to use some, use some items. I'm just going to, you know, use the fire, flask fire and the lantern because you know which enemy is more suitable to pour fire on than a lantern gomi checker get one card from the discard pile into your hand let's use this i mean since we are having it four damage quiz this is she this is Ru. and this is yo okay same stuff here. I think we can take this down really easily. Really cool. Oh, we got fire in the flask back. Really nice. Gain to concentration. Concentration means so there are some extra effects, status effects that we can get by using cards. Gain plus 25% more health points during X turn. Sure, let's use it. I think we do not have any healing cards, but uh, okay, so Kaname. Start with a quiz. This is he, you, and uh, I think, wow, well, yes. Okay. Resilience, taking less damage, or sort of more armor. So, dude is going to deal six and six. So. I guess damage and then I'm going to use this otherwise because the discard pile you know would have been there but I mean 
Now, I'm not going to use it since uh, we're going to discard those stuff. Dude is looking pretty fierce, so I'm just going to use the flask, of course. Uh, and for this one, let's use the hike book. Use it to unlock three more quizzes during a fight. Use it. Quiz. So, we got meh. We got eh. And another eh. And an extra one small. The N sound. And meh, I guess. Yes. We got strong, more damage. Or so, rest receiving less damage. And concentration. Okay. So, it's going to deal five damage and five damage. So, we got six of those really nice energies. So we are just really casually defending ourselves. And that's it. Blocked. Blocked. Pretty cool. Take the quiz. Which is Ma. Set. And Re. And here we go. Do this down. We are learning and we got tofu gain 10% of HP. I'm not sure if this means that if we combine this two together, we're getting more HP, but we will see prototype. Nice one. Samurai tackle, deal damage equal to your armor. Nice. Deal five damage and apply free a child. A child is dodging and cuts five damage. You know, let's go with this one. So now uh, I'm just going to, you know, hibernate these guys the thing i would really like to see is the batch hibernating or batch activating in the game or waking up but of course if you are learning step by step maybe you are not really in the need of this function but if you are for example in a higher level maybe it is better of course you can choose at the beginning which level you are on so it's much easier what about grammar let's go we got this it says desu but they usually chop down the u at the end there are places in japan where they said desu but uh, i think it's more rural one I, I don't know about the exact locations so i'm not going to say anything about this but let's put it here it's also there we got to be as da but it's also this so this is the not formal version of this uh this is the the team particle what we are talking about is the va it's interesting because if you learn the kana it says Ha! But you are going to say va. There are some irregularities in this language. Somewhere in Japan they say ha, watashi ha, but most of the time watashi wa. Uh, we got the question particle which is ka, uh, which is basically at the end of the sentence. For example, like you know, damn, I just want to say I'm always really bad about this. Ikimashoka. Are we going? Basically, Ikimashou, let's go. And Ikimashouka, are we going? Should we go? Uh, we got the possessive particle, which is, I don't know, Watashi no Pasokon, which is my computer. And G is the, the, the clock. And uh, we got uh, Bun is the minutes but it's going to be conjugated differently based on the ending of the number i mean the word the number before it but you know we are not talking about this at the moment okay let's go we got imori bunch of brutal guys okay are we going to be able to take this down choose a card to pick from the draw pile convert to dango Cool. Apply two poison to the enemy. <laughs> I'm going to apply poison immediately because these guys are looking fierce. Okay, re once again. And we got ya. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. And deal four damage to all enemies. Yes. 
I'm just going to... We only have like one stuff get back. Oh, I won't be able to use it, so we just go back. And well, in this case, just hit. That's it. Okay, we got a chance, a few, a little chance to dodge the attacks. It wasn't really great. We got frail, which is received 25% more damage. Oh boy, that's that's not good. So let's use it from the draw pile. Make it like a one hit into a card. Okay, so if you get a dongo, it's going to get turned into a card. Really cool. So the other damage equal to your armor. So now we're going to do a brutal combo, hopefully. So we got root, we got hat. This is raw. Once again. Ru. And once again, so funny, funny stuff. Now, this guy is gain more health points during X turns. So if I go with this one, are we going to get more? Uh, it was like, hopefully, yes, okay. The other damage equal to your armor. This one is the rage and dealing 10 damage. So we got five. So in this case, we're going to deal 8 damage and 5 more. So hopefully we can survive this one. Use most of the stuff, by the way. Okay. Taking the quiz. This is foot. This is ho. And me. Interesting because F is in the H, the H line, so Hahi F he ho. It's interesting. So there's no H particle, it's F. Take down this guy. No. Oh boy, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. I wasn't paying attention. No. We are going to go down. But of course, this game is representing really nicely the trial and error process of how you can learn Japanese or more like Asian language without an alphabet that you cannot read by default. And wo, which is pronounced o, as well, the equal to the stuff. Oh boy. Oh boy, uh, okay, armor, armor, oh, oh my god, he's not dying, damn it, okay, well, we're going to use some dango, but unfortunately we are out of uh, extra stuff, so what I'm going to do is rage, quiz, raw, we got you, and also raw. So not, not exactly sure what is the way of choosing which, you know, a kana or, or kanji or, or grammar or whatever that the game is going to choose uh, in which which point. So maybe it could be tweaked a little bit. So when you are putting a bunch of different stuff together, maybe it chooses from like all of the different buckets, if you will. So maybe that would be a good idea. Okay, let's take this guy down, finally. Also, the music is a little bit repeti repetitive, but this is only the first level, so I'm pretty sure that they were going to have like extra ones. Uh, this is what? While we are having more maps or whatever. We got meh. Five. Okay, so in this case, you know, let's just go. I, I'm pretty sure we won't be able to solve this with only 18 HP, but we will see. And this dude is not not, atta not attacking. So we got more. We got red, and also <laughs> no, that was Ma. Oh boy, I screwed up. 
Oh, wow, it's really forget forgiving. But you can still have, you know, like the right, the second guess. Really great. I want to see how things look when I screw it up. And in this case, if we screw up the quiz, it's going to make it a bit harder because we are having, you know, less energy every single time. So maybe it's a good idea before you start playing the game that if you only have things that you are going to definitely know or try to memorize these uh, before, a little bit before you start playing the game. And then you're having, you know, like a less harder time less hard time in this case so yeah unfortunately this one is uh is going to be it it's like yo and and yo once again five extra maybe this guy is buffing oh boy this guy is buffing them so maybe i should have taking this down first but otherwise the other guys are just going to take me down that's a bad one okay quiz so we got ra ha and ho okay well to what the all enemies and you know that's it sometimes before you click at the end uh, the end button before they finish their stuff or something uh, you know m maybe you have to click twice but the game is currently the beta version and I do think it's a really really nice tool we can see the progress really a nice tool to start dipping your tools into learning Japanese you know, let's learn the thread and going through all the process, learning the kana, then some grammar, then some vocabulary, and then you can add the kanjis in. Really awesome, like, you know, helping tutorials about the pictures you can imagine into those kanas or characters and all the cool things. So, UK and a... Uh, no, no, not UK. I am not a... You know, American, so yuke. This is how you uh, pronounce it in Japanese. So yuke. And the book of yokai is a really great studying tool mixed with some really awesome roguelike deck building, spire like adventures. So if you are looking a tool to learn Japanese, I highly recommend this game. With this, I was the alchemist for today, and I'm seeing you with more awesome in the games extremely soon. Take care.